and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. For some Watcher Yetis, this is going to be our Lissandra Trundle deck. It's random champion casual Fridays. We uh, just chose two random champions. They ended up being Lissandra and Trundle getting paired together. And while we could do Lissandra Trundle with, you know, like the Watcher combo, a whole bunch of Spectral Matrons and that kind of stuff, decided to, um, whoa, luck gifting out the sub to Dan. Dan, Dan going to be a sub now. Thank you so much there, luck. Decided to go take it a different direction and play some Yetis. We have played this deck before, Watcher Yetis, and I was pretty impressed with it the last time that we played it. But I think it could be kind of a good uh, variation here to Lissandra Trundle um, that gives you like some more, a lot more blockers, a lot more beef on the ground while still having powerful top end. So of course we'll start off with you know like some early blockers. But it's about getting two enraged Yetis in play, or just two Yetis in play. We'll use Avros and Trapper. We'll use Tall Tales because we want two Yetis in play. Because then our Abominable Guardian enters for free, right? If you have uh, if you have two plus Yetis. And so it is an eight cost unit entering for free. So we'll have a Bombable Guardian helping to level up Lissandra. We have Stalking Shadows in here that the best possible hit is a Bombable Guardian. If we get in Stalking Shadows, we get a Bombable Guardian. Now we got two Abominable Guardians. They both enter in for free. And then it levels up the Lissandra just like that. We're also gonna have, of course, Trundle getting the Ice Pillars, another good eight cost um, ally as well. And then with the Abominable Guardians or Ice Pillars, how they cost eight, and we didn't really spend any mana on either one, we have the combo of those plus Ethereal Remitter that can kill them and summon a random follower that costs two more. And so we can we can high roll and get rid of, you know, a Guardian. You know, we could theoretically put Guardian in play on like round four um, and then Remitter on round five and get a random 10 cost follower. Now, every single 10 cost follower is simp is better than just regular old f generic 5-5 five five Abominable Guardian, but some are a lot better than others. Ideally, we want to hit Otacon or Scythria. That's the high roll. We can, you know, get either one of these. So we could have round five Scythria. That's honestly possible. Um, and of course, whenever we use Remitter and kill a Guardian or an Ice Pillar and put a 10 drop into play, that's just summoning another 8 plus cost units. We're getting even closer to bringing the Watcher in play also. But there's there's uh, four other, so that those are the two best, but there's four other ones. Um, there's 6-6 six, six Overwhelm, Arbiter, 6-6 six, six Quick Attack, Plaza, 5-5 five, five Fearsome, Scuttle Guys, which is the worst, and then 10-10 ten, ten Regen. So even the worst one just gives your Guardian Fearsome if you hit the very worst. But otherwise, you can turn it into like a 10-10 regen or Otacon, Scythria, yeah, or these. All right, so that's kind of like our combo. We also have one Spectral Matron, which we can kind of find with the Stalking Shadows, where, you know, we will have Spectral Matron Watcher combo. Still, because we know that that's a very good combination. So we'll still have that in the deck, but we're not really focusing on it. Just one singular Spectral Matron. All right, so here we go. We got Yetis. We still got Watcher. So we got Watcher Yetis. Let's go ahead and play five games in ranked with this. Uh, different Lissandra Trundle deck. <laughs> well, thank you, Nathan. Thanks, thanks for the gift sub. Paired against Sivir Action. No real surprise there. Sivir Action really good. This is going to be a difficult one to win for sure. We'll keep our two champs. And see what else we got. Probably going Trapper on three. To help us... You know, maybe get you know, like help us find like that enraged yeti maybe get enraged yeti plus lissandra on four that would be pretty nice so can we survive till round eight because round eight with ice pillar remitter we do you know we play the ice pillar it refills the eight mana and then we also get to play remitter so we get to play both of them in the same round but can we survive till round eight step lightly Hmm. 
We had four followers to choose from. Always a surprising number of followers. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. Nothing's lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. So got a lot of cards over there. We got it first. First relic. Okay, not bad. You gotta imagine they're going to play Merc Merciless Hunter now and have this 5 2 challenge something. No, or not. Okay, or not. I just wanted to attack with it. Okay. We could still go Merciless Hunter, Relentless Pursuit, which would be like the worst thing for me. But we get Trundle in play. I'll consider the strike. It's alright, Yix. Glad to have you here now. I don't think you're too late at all. Silver's pretty close to leveling up already. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. These old eyes still see far and clear. I'm doing great today. Yeah, our champ, our very first ever. Random Champion Casual Friday has been going spectacular. Uh, couldn't couldn't be going any better. So yeah, I'm doing great today. Because we're up in Masters rank and we're three two with both of our decks, with Zed Darius, Tarek, Shivana, and we got two more fun ones to do. We got a bunch of Yetis here, and then. Um, What's his name? Echo Nasus up next after this. Nasus. Danger pays. This fool in peace. We'll get our licks in. This is justice. Business as usual. Danger pays for us to get our licks in. Needs to do 21 damage, that's 6. So I guess we'll see what kind of pump spells they have. I got one, three sisters still left over. Trying to kill Sivir. Trying.
So I can't kill Sivir. I can either protect Lissandra or protect Enrage Yeti. Auction does not have spell shield. No, it has the sharp sight. I guess having Lissandra protected is better. Lissandra's still alive. But Lissandra is permanent vulnerability. But it's going to level up next round. Had shape stone. Man. This deck is so good. Alright, well. That went terribly. Yep, I should have just done it the other way. I should have protected. Because if I if I frostbite this thing, then even a shape stone doesn't kill Lissandra. But if I you know frostbite the action like it did. If it went well, we would have killed action, but it did not go well. Alright, so Sivir has Vulnerable for this round. Alright, come on, Sithria! Man, I have never gotten Sithria or Atticon, ever. I've done this combo a decent amount, I've never... Gotten neither one. I always get something that's not very good. This one's a fighter. Oh, come now. There's three good targets and three bad targets. This is one of the three bad targets. It's still an upgrade over the five five. But it's, you know, this is like the fourth or fifth, you know, f number four and five, you can get the quick attack or overwhelm. So like the, th these are like the second, tied for the second worst, basically. The three good ones, of course, are Atticon, Scythria, and then uh, She Who Wanders. Those, those all would have been great. Nope. Solution. Hug it So game didn't go according to plan. They appeared out of nowhere. Unfortunately, low rolled. We love it when they run. Yeah, that should just be game right there. GG's. That deck's still unbeatable. It's just... When I tried to do anything, they just had all the pump spells to... cancel out anything I tried to do. Alright, Sejuani, so Gangplank. I like our chances in this one a lot more. Okay, so Avalanche. This is all pretty good. 
Good start. Don't know exactly how good Avalanche will be for this matchup, but I think it's worth playing. Like, you know, worth keeping and everything. So you go Black Market Merchant, and then kill them both. Alternatively, I could just play the Trapper. I think I should do that, actually. I think I should have mulligan Stalking Shadows, especially drawing another Stalking Shadows. I wish that I did. They've already dealt Nexus damage to me. I'm really glad they're doing that right now and not next round. Hmm. We'll be playing... Yeah, we could play Trundle, but I think we're going to play Enrage Yeti plus Lissandra. That's, again, really good. They're just wasted a warning shot. They're already going to do Nexus damage to me this round anyway. So, yeah, like, we both the parlay and, you know, like, they could have definitely saved that parlay warning shot. I'm glad they're using those already. I'll show them pain. That does two damage to me. And kills that Yeti, of course. The trolls are going to war at my command. They're at four out of five. Good, Yeti. Kill, kill. They stole an abominable guardian from me. That's the fifth point of damage. That's the fifth one of these. Alright, cool. And Tomb's useful. Yeah, we, we had this. 
Because, you know, like, even they have, like, the champions, you know, we have the three sisters with, like, Frostbiter and Tomb. We have that thing within Tomb, and we're about to start putting out a lot of eight drops and get there. All right, GG's. Why attack with a normal Yeti? Because I, I, I kind of needed room, honestly. Like, I needed, like, I didn't have the room to, like, try to have, like, two regular Yetis in play and then put all those eight ones. You know, like, I don't, I don't have the room for that. So I need, I need more room on the board, and so I was just trading five fives. Okay, we got the same matchup again. That one went pretty well for us. Of course, they didn't have Sejuani. That duck doesn't have Sejuani. We're going to be looking good. All right, we'll send all these back. We'll keep Vengeance for Sejuani for the late game. Let's try to find some earlier stuff. Could see keeping the Stalking Shadows, but looks like this will work. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. So blocking, not only to put the two 1-5s in the deck, but again, make it a little bit more difficult to level their champions, right? Not give them that free round of leveling up. Let's get to they get this one. Patience. That's how it is for sure. Love having the trundle to go along with remitter. This thing now dies to Avalanche. Don't feel like I need to protect it. Alright, cool. Fun. Good draw. Preferred to have that Force Edge Wani, but we kind of have to play it here. No, the yeah, I've just climbed the the rank ladder with just like these kind of decks, just our our own decks, not meta decks. I I never play meta decks. Mm. Let's play this in Rage Yeti, then have a little bit more information for whether we're going Lissandra or Trundle this round. I can still play Trundle next round and have ice, you know, the, the goal is to have ice pillar on eight, of course. Um, one, two, three, four. Tarek Siobhan is probably going to be uploaded in about a day and a half, honestly. I think there are five videos to upload still. Yeah, so about, yeah, so it's gonna be like the sixth video, so about a day and a half for Tarek Shivana. Alright, got him. Got some damage in, so they're three out of five. Still worried about Sedgwani. Take three. All things grow cold. Dead men tell my tale. Okay, you kind of seem like a dead man that would tell a specific tale. Pass. <laughs> All right. I don't 
Good thing I didn't avalanche, because if I would have avalanche, I would have killed that. He said sarcastically. Alright, so ice pillar time. So we'll give Gangplank overwhelm, or give Gangplank the uh, whatever it's called. Alright, can we finally do it? Can we finally get Scythria? Even Atacon. I haven't gotten, those are the two best. I've never gotten either one of the two best before. Can we finally do it? Please. Scythria. No, we always get the worst ones. Man. I got like She Who Wanders once, which is the third best. That's like, I, I did that one time. And then it's been like six or seven or eight. Like I've done this like close to 10 times. I've gotten one of the worst ones basically every single time, except for one time I got a She Who Wanders. Gross. Bow to no one, then die. King. This still turns into a 2-6. It's a 2-6 ain't bad. Stop. 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 Of course, this thing has the fearsome, so it can't be blocked by Powder Monkey. Whoa. Well, that's great. Got a second Sejuani out of their hand. That's awesome. So, we'll still have Gangplank. Oh, I, my Nexus is tough. I don't take the damage there. So I don't get to level up Gangplank. Wow, what a good avalanche. Good thing we saved that avalanche. And they got rid of that Sejuani. Wow. The ocean herself will fear us. There's no spider sight. Well, that was pretty awesome. Could have turned Remitter into a 7-drop, but 7-drops aren't very important. Feel the power of true ice. Mm. I am reborn of salt and pride. I'm so worried about that. For speed warning shots. They look angry. So we're down to two. Power. Man, I thought we had this until this dreadway. I don't really have playable cards, right? Like, because Trapper puts Enrage Yeti back on top of the deck, and Enrage Yeti is not a card I want to draw right now. Don't really have any playable cards. I don't know. Maybe I do want Enrage Yetis? I want a bunch of Enrage Yetis.
I don't have any good plans. I mean, if I, you know, play other stuff first before attacking, they play Gangplank. Like, I don't... Uh, here, they just block the... The Lissandra. I mean, I'm just dead to this Gangplank. Where did I mess up? I messed up... I definitely messed up this game somehow. Also, we are the absolute worst at remitter. Yeah, I mean, I just lose no matter what next round. But yeah, I guess I can't attack with Lissandra. I kind of can't do anything. We have to top deck some kind of removal spell, but we know that one of our top cards is one of our top two cards is Enrage Yeti, which means if we draw Enrage Yeti, we die. I'll shoot the wings off a bilge wasp. I can't. I can't play anything. I can play Vile Feast, I guess, but that doesn't doesn't help me. I mean, it was a was a double Vile Feast on Crackshot too. It doesn't doesn't help me. Explosives. And we drew that Enraged Yeti. Definitely must have messed up somewhere. Can we just get lucky one time with Ethereal Remitter though? Like, how do we have the absolute worst Ethereal Remitter luck? We always get the very worst thing you can get out of the six. Like, both of those losses, if we hit Cythria, we win. Like, we could be 3 0 right now if we would have just hit Cythria both times instead of, like, the, the crabby card we hit. Or even Otacon. Could be 3-0 right now if we just hit Otacon or Cythria. Like, either either time. They both would have been wins. Viego Thresh. Alright, so we're going to have to have removal for Viego. I wish Stalking Shadows was still 2 mana. Yeah, I wish that was still 2 mana. Oh, good card. Good card. Good game. I'm actually going to lead with Lissandra because I could. I feel like this could be a later game like where like that Countdown 8 could honestly come into play. Probably multiple Viegos. My best guess. This got the cost reduction, that means no Hydrovine, nothing more expensive, but only got one cost reduction, so it's most likely that there's gonna be multiple of those. And just going with um just going with Vengeance isn't very 
reliable against deny deck. Just leading with that. But we gotta hope, no deny. Cool. Blocking both 5-5s, five because you see syncopation all the time in these decks also, so like, don't want them to use, like, like if they syncopation... Oh, I guess it still would have saved Viego. But... Yep, there's the other Viego. I think should should be a 5-6-5, five, five, not a 6-6. Six, six. That should be a 6-5. Should turn into a 7-6. Seven, 7-7. Six. Seven, seven. I'm surprised they haven't fixed this Viego bug yet. Again, it's... should have one less health and power. Gonna need to be entombing this Viego somewhat soon. Stop. Looks like this very next round somewhat soon. So in Tomb costs six mana. I can't play that. So I'm gonna need to entomb plus remitter. And Tumi means they could play a new Viego. Alright, can we actually get lucky for one time ever? We will never, ever, ever get lucky on this, will we? Just get the very bottom every time. It's, it's kind of unbelievable how we've never hit a Cythria or an Atacon. We have a 33% chance to hit those two, and we never have. In, I don't know, three, four times playing this kind of deck. We've done it, you know, like, I don't know, 10, 12 times now.
The ice is melting. It's either use Lissandra's champion spell or the three sisters. Use the Lissandra's champion spell, put it back into the deck. It's a good spell to have. We're still obviously incredibly dead to Hydrovine, and so none of this really matters because <laughs> we can't not get the powerful part of our deck to work at all. So little to ask. It's very frustrating. So we're one short of playing the Abominable Guardian, which will allow us to attack with the Watcher this round. Freeze. Round end. Uh, we shall summon, like this will get rid of, so we'll summon this. Put two Yetis in play. So be able to play Watcher next round. We don't have two Yetis. We got one more shot. Doing this first, so like if we hit Cythria, we get the bonus. But yeah, here's our one more shot. Cythria. This is just absurd. Again, or Otacon. Think of how big Otacon would be, right? Like Otacon would would gain 
Uh, I mean, how much power is this? That's 11, that's 11, so that's 22, 30, 34. Autocom gained 34 power. Gaining 34 power sounds pretty good. Obviously, we're pretty dead. We just uh, have the worst luck ever with Ethereal Remedy. Worst luck ever. We would be 4-0 right now if we could just Ethereal Remitter, remitter better. If we'd hit one of the top 33% of cards instead of the bottom 33% of cards. Every time we hit the bottom 33%, if we hit the top 33%, we're 4 and 0. Yes, the Viego takes the Watcher, and yes, they would attack and get rid of our deck. But it doesn't matter. We're dead. So Rocka Brom. So Rocka Brom's awesome. It's a really cool combination. That is a combination that's going to be much better against smaller decks. I could keep this. We can be really slow. We don't need to be fast. This is going to be a really powerful hand. The Ancient Yeti, you know, we can play at round four to begin with or anytime after. We'll have Stalking Shadows look for more Yetis, so we'll have like those with the Yetis. Then we'll have. Um, I guess you can play you. Then we'll have these Abominable Guardians coming to play for free, so if we find a Lissandra, we should be creating Watcher, and then we'll have Matron Watcher. Theoral Remitter would have been per you know, like that would have been great to find a Theoral Remitter. But I guess we wouldn't really get anything good with the Theoral Remitters anyway. Alright, so that clears up some good room for us. For other stuff. Alright, we gotta just find Lissandra. 
or a Theor Remitter. That's what we're looking for, those two cards. So it makes it difficult to play Trapper because th that could just, you know, make it one less, like, like slower to find a Theor Remitter or Lissandra. Stop. These two cards are really underrated, Soraka and Braum, they work so well together. They're very underrated. Alright, so this gets Braum out of the picture so it doesn't heal. And so since it doesn't heal, they don't draw the card with Soraka. And then they don't, you know, they don't have that for that blocker. Alright, unfortunately no Lissandra, no remitter for us. So I have to kill my Trundle, but I cannot believe they didn't heal their Soraka and draw... First of all, like they just draw a card they heal Soraka. Um, but yeah, this, this should just take down the card advantage, because, you know, like, whenever this Brahm's coming, like, it's... They're going to be drawing a lot of cards with that Soraka. Like, that Soraka is going to be awesome. Hopefully kill Braum.
Okay, well, incredibly, incredibly frustrating video. Just how terribly unlucky we are with the Ethereal Remitter. Those first three losses, then the last loss, they used like the two champs, like two champs that I play a lot more than anybody else, and like my my deck, they just use that to just destroy us and show us how good that deck is. So I don't know. There's definitely something missing with the deck. I don't, I don't know what. I don't know. I'm just really frustrated right now. Um, there are so many good cards that we just don't have room for. You know, Troll Chant, Glimpse Beyond. You know, like a card like Glimpse Beyond could be really, really nice to like help draw into those other win conditions. But it's just really hard to find room for them. Maybe like. I don't know, maybe like Ancient Yeti is not necessary. Like you get to the point like where you just can't play Trapper, especially when you don't have card advantage. Like Tall Tales, Trap, I don't know. If there's something like maybe we can trim like some of these Yetis. Because you got to have two of them though for the Guardian. But like after that, you just don't want to keep drawing them. And, and you, unfortunately with this deck, you just keep drawing them. So maybe there's something to do there. Maybe Vile Feast isn't any good. Uh, that's That's also a possibility. Uh, getting rid of Vile Feast. I, I could definitely see that. I could definitely see getting rid of Vile Feast and maybe playing more Glimpse Beyonds and Three Sisters and things like that. Higher impact cards. Because it's not like the little 1-1s one you're really that worried about anyway. So yeah, I mean, that, that could be the card to get rid of is Vile Feast. Um, but yeah, because that's that's the thing. Like we just don't we don't we need more card advantage, right? Because like we just like all those losses, we just run out of cards and we run out of cards that we can play because there's a lot of these cards that we can't play in the late game all right but anyway that's going to be watcher yetis go ahead and try it out yourself hopefully you have a whole lot better remitter luck it, it is really cool if you if you ever could have remitter turn into an otacon or a you know have turn one of these you know like an ice pillar or a guardian turn into an otacon or a cythria that that theoretically could be cool but i don't know if you can do it because i've never seen it happen so Anyway, that's going to be our third deck today. We got one more to go. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, sorry that I'm not better at the combo. I didn't get to show it off. Sorry about that. Uh, but hopefully you still enjoyed the video. So uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this one. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Ooh.